Ramirez and Carrie and Brittany Orsa. Richard Henry. 
favorite. Joy Lamines and Adrian Parada. 
and Guadalupe Romero Barbosa.
will be signed by Shalom Robles. Please bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing each and every one of us here safely tonight. Thank you, Lord, for the fellow graduates, teachers and staff, school board, and our families and loved ones. Thank you, Lord, for no rain for tonight for our graduation ceremony. Thank you, Lord, for the past four years and the journey we have endured along the way, the good times and the bad. Without you, we would not be where we are today. I ask that you continue to shower your abundant love and grace upon us. Lord, as we step into the next chapter of our lives, I ask that you strengthen our heart and will so that we will always root our morals and all of our future endeavors so that we never forget that you always come first. In Christ's name I pray. Amen. My name is John O'Brien. I'm superintendent of schools for Vanvalec ISD. At this time, I will introduce the board of trustees. Tony Cachera, president. <laughs> Curtis Brown, vice president. Jesse Austin, secretary. Bobby Unkin, member. And Terry Blackman, member and Terry Evans, and Donnie O'Connell couldn't make it tonight. Please welcome Sierra Matthews, who will be giving the salutatorian address. Good evening. First, I would like to welcome parents, family, friends, school board members, administration, teachers, and fellow classmates of the class of 2016. As we celebrate the end of our high school careers, but the beginning of the next chapter in our lives. When I first sat down to write this speech, I was clueless on where to start. So I decided to begin with giving a shout out to some of my amazing friends. 
Brooke, Shayla, Zach, Leah, Trevino, and Palmer. Not only because they begged me to, but also because I would not have made it through these past four years without them. <laughs> While writing this speech, tons of thoughts were flowing through my mind. Am I gonna reminisce about memories of great importance to me? How about speaking of significant events for the entire school year? What is the message I should try to convey? Will I pass out or just be at a loss for it? Because to be honest, I did not think I had it in me to do this. But the most important goal I strove for was to create a speech that was truly different. Not that long, boring, and put people to sleep speech, or the traditional, your journey ends here, but the new one begins speech either. I just want to speak from the heart and give you all the best advice I can. So tonight, as we find ourselves as seniors on the brink of graduation, I ask all of you to remember back to August 2012, when we first walked into Van Vleck High School as freshmen. From that time to now, we have made unexpected friendships and grown from ones we thought would last a lifetime. We have faced obstacles that threatened to crush us, laughed until we cried, became professional, strategic, procrastinating, overslept, underslept, and then stayed up all night just to do it all over again. By being here today, it is clear that all our hard work and stress have paid off. We did it. On the way, we were touched by amazing friends, inspirational teachers, and people were just downright awesome. We got into some trouble, met some random people, stayed up all night for no practical reason, and despite all that, we made it to this day. As, we, as time has passed, we have been shaped into the people we are today, our own unique personalities who are now moving on with our lives to bigger and better th things. While many of us are excited to be graduating, take this as experience as a reminder that our fears, challenges, or even mistakes should not be an impediment for achieving your, our goals. Whatever path we are taking from graduation, whether it's college, a full-time job, or serving our country, take pride in your achievement and decision. Don't be afraid of the uncertainty of your future but a commitment to yourself and whatever you may stumble into, you will rise again to be a greater and stronger individual. There are a few things that I wish for my class and a few things that I've learned these past four years. I'm not gonna throw a bunch of cliches at you and encourage you to all go out and change the world. But one thing I encourage you to do is to get a support system. Whatever you choose to do with your life, surround yourself with positive people who inspire you, motivate you, and challenge you. Find people who will not only pick you up when you fall, but will also slap you in the back of the head and tell you to get it together. One thing that I take pride in myself on is that the successes that I have achieved in my life have not been the result of just my own efforts. I've been very fortunate to have a group of extremely amazing people in my corner. They all accepted my imperfections, but also pushed me to be my best. To thank them all would require more time than I have been allowed, and I probably couldn't even achieve this in my lifetime. Being up here is a direct result of the people who inspired me and who believed in me. I want all of you to look to the side of you, look in the stands, find your family, friends, teachers. Just look at all of them and take it in. These are the people who supported you, helped you, and loved you, and they only want the best for so when you leave here tonight to be in the next chapter in your life and you somehow get lost along the way, come back home. Remember what it felt like to be here now in this moment. Remember what it felt like to have your family and friends look down at you from the stands and how happy they were for you. This is where it all began, right here, right now. Besides my friends, I also wouldn't be here without my parents. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for allowing me to chase my dreams. You've been nothing but encouraging and loving. Even when I think I can't, you're always there to wipe my tears and assure me that I can. I know that my stubborn and opinionated personality may have drove both of you crazy sometimes, but thanks for putting it up with me for 18 years. Soon after I said my first words, you made sure that please and thank you and yes sir and yes ma'am were quick to follow. I now truly understand the values that you have instilled in my brother and I at such an age. Respect for ourselves and others, hard work and honesty. It shaped me into the person that I am today and will guide me into my future. I feel extremely lucky to call both of you my parents. 
I'm proud to announce that I will be furthering my education at Southern Methodist University. While many of my classmates have doted on my dreams that I have for myself after high school because I've had them since freshman year, but remember that they are just that, dreams. Everyone has them. Hopefully I will achieve them, but I'm on the same roller coaster that we call life as the rest of you. We all put our pants on the same every morning, just one leg at a time. Now one of us out here tonight is better than the other, and in life, never let anyone tell you different. So tonight, for those of you walking across the stage that never had any positive people in your life supporting you, or you've had someone tell you that you'd never make it, the best way to get revenge is to prove them wrong. Because as long as you believe that you can, you always will. Parents, faculty, family, and friends, as you look upon us tonight, remember these faces. Collectively, we are a very talented and brilliant group. We're your future lawyers, doctors, political leaders, musicians, actors, actresses, and some of us will even go on to serve this country and protect our freedoms. So please don't count us out, but count on us to be great. Gracie DuPont will now announce the class motto, Flower and Song. Our class motto is destiny is not a matter of chance. It is a matter of choice. It is not a thing to be waited for. It is a thing to be achieved by William Jennings Bryan. Our class flower is the orange snapdragon. And our class song is Photograph by Nickelback. Mr. John O'Brien and Brooke Zamora will be presenting The Last Lepers. This award is presented to, by Van Vleck ISD to parents of the last child that attended public schools who graduates today, June 2nd of 2016. 
Bamblek ISD would like to thank you for the th thousands of hours you have spent in support of public education. We appreciate the hundred of, hundred of items that you have bought through thousands of fundraisers, the time spent watching events, monitoring homework, awaiting buses, and finally, support you've given our staff. As with nature, when the last cub leaves the den, it is only the end of the beginning of life for both the young leopard and their parent. We celebrate the beginning of a new phase of life in which we want to invite you to continue to play an important role in our schools and the lives of all of our young leopards in our community. Thank you from all of us here at Van Vleck ISD. Hunter Brown, Kelsey Brown, give them to your parents. Reagan Cho, Joshua Cortez, Joshua Food, <laughs> Trim Frost, Lily Gatton, Bethany Garza, Terry Goodman, Zach Green, Cole Grisham, Leah Hanna, Brandon Holt, Gary Kirsch, Shayla Martin, Sierra Matthews, Logan Middleton, Adrian Parada, Colby Rich, Morgan Roper, Christian Smith, Madison Strawn, Chet Talasic, Dominique Tejarina, Dylan Wakefield, Phoenix Wet, Cody Wilkes, Dante Marsh, and me. And now Emily Thompson will deliver her valedictorian address. Hey, Mom and Dad. Remember what I told you back in elementary school? That I was going to graduate number one in my class one day? Oh, and what about that deal we made back in fifth grade that got withdrawn on my 16th birthday? Yeah, still upset about that one. And how could any of us forget all the late nights, early mornings, hectic activities, tears, frustration, and stress? Dad, I know you remember the laughs you've had from Mom and I getting attitudes with each other. By the way, I did lose at my own game most of the time, so kids, don't play games with your mamas. Mom, this one is just for you. Remember on April 28th when we both found out the news together and we both cried, out, cried tears of joy and couldn't make out any words? That is a moment I will cherish forever. Good evening, everyone. My name is Emily Blair Thompson, and I am beyond blessed to be able to say that I am graduating as the valedictorian of Van Blake High School for the class of 2016. Well, class of 2016, the whole town is gathered around to celebrate our completion of one journey and to experience the start of a new one. Just take a moment. Look around at your classmates, look at your parents, and look up Burl McKinney Stadium that holds all of our loved ones who have supported us on this crazy ride. We can honestly say after 13 long years that we made it. Along the way, we have made memories, learned lessons about life, and learned lessons about each other. As a whole, we may not agree on much, but I think we can all agree that this little town of Van Vleck has shaped who we are today. To my classmates, I am about to tell the story that we have lived. To everyone who hasn't lived these moments with us, I'm about to tell you the legendary story created by yours truly, the crazy class of 2016. Once upon a time, there existed a one light town that was known by many names. Who even knew a town could be known by so many names? It's known as the basic Vandalek, Texas, home, Hollywood, Texas, B Square, Small Town, USA, that town by Bay City, a little dot on the map that's on Highway 35, the redneck town, and in times of desperation, that town located somewhere near Matagorda. That's nine, and I can promise you there are more. 
We all know the struggle of being looked at crazy when trying to explain where Dan Black is. The town may look small, but don't let that fool you. It's still full of shenanigans. Don't let any of these sweet, innocent faces fool you either, because we are the cause of all the shenanigans. It all started back in the good old days at O.A. Charming Middle School. We thought our pimples would never disappear, basketball shorts and knee-high socks were cute, Patty J was our worst fear, and passing Miss Keelan's class is the hardest thing we faced. This is the time where we learned that teachers would actually ban us from field trips when we, more specifically the boys, misbehave and breaking each other's pencils was a huge deal. It would result in someone getting flipped out of their desk. Cole and Cole, I know you both know what I'm talking about. The boys learned it wasn't cool to throw pudding in people's hair at lunch. And table topping was the thing to do. It was funny. And so you were the one laying flat on your back, wondering what the world just hit you. Del and the janitor gave awesome life advice, and we also learned that not all 8th graders are 100% potty trained. <laughs> they actually think it's funny when their mom has to bring them a change of clothes during lunch. I'm still mind blown about that one, honestly. Junior high was the time when dares were taken very seriously. How could anyone forget the time one of our classmates used a toothbrush off a mat or the beach to brush their teeth and ate gum off the bottom of a bus seat because he was one of those who took dares very seriously. Cole Grisham, I'm glad you have a strong immune system, buddy. <laughs> Moving into high school, we learn a lot more about each other and have had the time of our lives. We learned that we have a very diverse group of people and that our mamas would find out everything, regardless of how hard we tried to hide it. Hunter Brown learned real fast that it isn't the smartest thing to paint your whole body with acrylic paint. And homecoming made it okay to walk down the halls with depends on and a pacifier in our mouths. I had never experienced a person impersonating a gorilla and boxers crashing a homecoming halftime performance until 2012. Let me tell y'all, he kept running and running and even ended up on the other side of Highway 35. He wasn't looking back. I had never heard of possum punting until Hubbard had a possum attached to his jeans one day in ag and never thought a raccoon would stick its paw through the roof during class one day. Some people learn that if you're going to leave school in the middle of the day because you feel like it or just want some lunch, it isn't the smartest thing to post it on Snapchat because Mr. Wright is the Sherlock Holmes of the Envelope High School. It will find out real quick. It isn't okay to think that you're too cool for school because if you think that and skip school, chances are you won't be able to graduate and be stuck doing extra time and who wants to do that? High school has been a time where the boys thought it was funny to turtle everyone's backpack when the class left their room. For those of you who do not know what that is, that is when you take everything out of the backpack, turn it inside out, and put everything back in it. Thank you, Palmer. I think we all became pros at unturtling our backpacks. The late nights and early mornings added up on a lot of us. Because of this, we all became pros at sneaking naps. Miranda even learned how to sleep with her eyes wide open. And let me tell you, that is the weirdest looking thing I have ever saw. Good job, buddy. It takes talent to do that. <laughs> Aside from learning how to take naps during class, we also learned that classes can actually bring tears to our eyes. Miss Otis, you're awesome, but calculus did have some of us in tears at times. But hey, we got over it. Thank you for teaching us that the limit does not exist. We should have got an A for effort and an A for trying to convince you that Jesus was the answer to all the problems we didn't know, and that was a lot. We learned a very valuable lesson when it came to cooking and culinary arts. Don't catch paper towels or foil on fire while your assistant principal is in the room. Thank God Mrs. Moser held it down in that room. I'm pretty positive she saved the school from us. And by us, I mean me, Emily Trevino, Chet, and Eric. I've also learned in high school that some people are blessed with nine lives. Oh boy, I don't think a group of us will ever forget the time Dusty literally caught on fire. I don't, <laughs> I don't think any of us have ever laughed so hard, freaked out that much, fell to the ground so fast, and had the hardest time yelling stop, drop, and roll until that moment in time. 
Thank God he only has some birds like him. Dusty, you're now down to eight lives. Please use them wisely. We're the class who couldn't coordinate a senior skip day, and we're the class that has some classmates who got a little rowdy before their EOCs. Bethy learned it isn't smart to break your hand minutes before a major test. Now, on a more serious note, it has been a long, winding journey. We have all experienced our first loves, first heartbreaks, and have memories as good as gold. We have had some come and go. We're the class that have many different mixed opinions. I guess it's our differences that made us interesting. We're the class who could argue one class period and be the best of friends the next class period. If Bethy and Hunter could resolve their differences, anyone could. Looking back, high school has been some of the best days of my life, and I know many of you could agree with me. We all wanted to rush it, and now we are here in our best dress, with the cap and gown on, waiting to receive that piece of paper that we have worked our entire lives for. High school has been a time of finding out who we are as a person. It has been the time to discover ourselves. We're at the starting line of the rest of our lives, and we're as ready as we've ever been. Never forget the times we spent together, whether it's been at a sporting event or a water burger. Cherish the pictures. Never forget the people you grew up with. And never forget your way back home. We are all going to wish at one point in time that we could be surrounded by these familiar faces again. Don't forget the traditions we have started and never forget that once you're a leopard, you're always a leopard. Up until this day, we have added the last couple of pages to our story. I've enjoyed living in with each and every one of you and hope that everyone has enjoyed hearing our legendary story. In a short time, we will turn our tassels and it will be time to say our bittersweet goodbyes and go our separate ways. Before I end, I would like to give a special thanks to all those who have made this whole journey successful and have allowed us to reach this destination. First off, I would like to thank God for all the opportunities, blessings, families, friends, teachers, and staff. He has never given us a battle that was too tough to face. He has guided us when we were lost and was the one who restored our hope. May all the glory go to you, Lord. Next, I would like to thank my mom, dad, brother, aunt, uncles, and cousins who have supported me along the way. Mom and dad, I couldn't have done it without your unconditional love and support. You pushed me when times were tough, and no matter how crazy my dreams were, you were there for me and always encouraged it. I know you both got used to the saying, I got this, and I wouldn't have truly had the situation under control without your guidance. God couldn't have blessed me with better parents and role models. I've got the hunger and the stars in my eyes, the prize is mine to win. I've got to do what I've got to do. I'm spreading my wings and I'm ready to fly, and God knows that we all have to be strong. Y'all are the bomb.com, and I hope that I continue to make y'all proud in my future endeavors. For a will, no matter how many times you call me a nerd, I still love you and wish you the best of luck in the next three years. Or more so, your teachers. Good luck. <laughs> Third, I would like to thank all my teachers and the staff of Van Blake High School, as well as our school board. Without your guidance and help throughout the years, I couldn't have achieved what I have. I am truly blessed to be able to say that I've grown up in Van Blake. It is truly the best school around. Thank you for putting up with the countless questions, and thank you for being more than just teachers to me. I'll always carry Mr. Bender's word of wisdom with me. He always said, if you can't dazzle them with diamonds, then baffle them with something I cannot say right now. <laughs> if you aren't first in your last, and getting third place is like kissing your cousin. Thank you for the last in wisdom, Mr. Bender. Special shout out to Mr. Hood for holding it down the past four years. I know we could get a little rowdy at times. Lastly, I would like to thank my best friends who have been here for me through all the tough times and golden times. Miranda Ray, thank you for being my go-to person for the last six years. You helped me keep my sanity. You know my deepest secrets, and you're the person I could always count on. We have made countless memories, and I know we will continue to. College Station better watch out. Bethy, thank you for always being my go-to person. You're the person I can always bend to. You're one of those who got me and always has the patience. College Station also isn't ready for us. Roper, thank you for being another one of my go-to people. I'm so blessed to have a friend like you. I always know you're down for a good time with one of those who I can trust. College Station isn't going to be able to handle all of us. Lastly, but certainly not least, Faith. 
You're my girl I go to for advice and always can depend on for blunt advice even when I may not need it at that point in time. I'll never be able to thank you for everything you have done for me and being one of my go-to people as well. I wish we could pack you in our suitcase and take you to College Station with us, but visits will have to do for now. I love all four of you with all my heart and thank you for the memories you have given me. I don't think I would have survived senior year without you. As I'm trading my hello in for howdy, my orange and black in for maroon and white, and my small town life in for college life, I want to wish everyone good luck in your future endeavors, whatever it may be. Always remember that nothing is impossible. I hope you never lose your sense of wonder. Always keep your hunger and never take a single breath for granted, because we never know what tomorrow may bring. Give faith a fighting chance, and when you get the chance to sit it out or dance, I hope you choose to dance. Never go down the path of least resistance. When you start doubting yourself, remember how far you have come. Remember everything you have faced, all the battles you have won, and all the fears you have overcome. For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope in the future. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. God bless and thank you. Now our principal, Mr. Hood, will be will certify the class. It's an honor to take this moment, spend the last four years with the class of 2016. Very good job, proud of you. Mr. O'Brien and the Board of Trustees, I hereby certify that these members here present of the Van Blake High School class of 2016 have met or exceeded all requirements of the state of Texas for insurance of a high school diploma. I present them with your acceptance. On behalf of the Board of Trustees of Van Fleck ISD, it's with great pleasure that I accept the class of 2016 having met or exceed all the requirements of the state of Texas for graduating from Van Black High School. Good evening. In the moment you waited for, we are so blessed to have the class of 2016. Give them a big round of applause. This is a great music kids. And we thank all of you for all of your love. Thank you so much. At this time, we will announce the students' names to receive their diplomas. All right. Emily Blair Thompson. Sierra Lee Matthews. Miranda Ray Orsak. Ruth Ann Gatowski. Lachey Zamora. <laughs> Leah Marie Hanna. <laughs> Gracie Marie DuPont. Yolanda Bautista. Hunter Jacob Brown.
Guadalupe Cervantes. Richard Aaron Cervantes. Joshua Eric Curtis. <laughs> Belize Du Bordeaux. <laughs> Christian Eduardo Espino. Joshua David Boutre. <laughs> Janie Marie Franklin. <laughs> Trenton Robert.
families, friends, and faculty members for supporting us graduates and for making this night so special. I would also like to lead us in a closing prayer. Please remove your hats and bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for bringing us this day of celebration and honor, and thank you for being constant through all the challenges we have faced over the years. You are the reason we have made it this far. After we walk off this field tonight, I ask that you give us courage to face challenges of carving out a place in society and give us strength to resist the temptations of greed, laziness, pride, and envy as we strive to do and be our best. Lord, may your spirit guide us as we unfold the next chapters of our lives. Help us to live in hope in the world and bring good things to your kingdom. And may this celebration be a reflection of the blessings that we find in loving and knowing you. Lastly, I ask that you keep us safe as we make our way home tonight. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Every time I do it makes me 